Well, that was a hell of a way to wake up. And just like that, we are off. Where we are going, I have no idea. I'm just getting in my car, I'm driving north. I know where I kind of want to end up. I got a mattress back here, a suitcase right here. I have everything that I need to stay in my car. One of the reasons why I actually bought a 4Runner instead of a truck is so that I could sleep in my car. I am going to Lowe's and I'm going to pick up a fan that I saw there the other day. I'm hoping that it is still there. Let me say, it does get hot sleeping in this vehicle. And I also need to get a blanket too. First up, fan and ice for the cooler. Ugh. As you can see, we got a fruit punch, we got some body armor, and some water. The Magnificent Essentials. It is so freaking windy outside right now. We got that tropical storm that's coming by. So I'm trying to outrun that thing, but it's about to start raining. We gotta get everything ready to go. There we go. Damn, they don't have it. It was right here. He said that they may have them in the craftsman section, so I'm, I'm hoping, man. My $49 fan turned into about $150 worth of stuff. It says that this fan lasts 60 hours on one charge. That's what I need, because then I don't need to charge it every single night. Let's go check out and hit the road. Here is the moment of truth. Sliced up my hands. Trying to open up those packages. I had no knife. It is on, look at that. And I hope this is good. And then we should just be able to turn it on. It's gonna be perfect, look. Even tells me the battery life. I'm hungry. I'm getting some Taco Bell, mate. Hit the drive through get me some cheesy gordita crunch. Is Taco Bell has been consumed. My thing is barking at me because my load too heavy on the seat next to me. Fun fact, you can actually stay overnight in any Walmart parking lot, casino parking lot, school parking lot, and uh, there's, there's another one I cannot remember, but you can stay in those parking lots and not get into any trouble. It's dark now, and we are currently at Walmart. Not the right Walmart, though. I was driving, and I realized I do not have a blanket. I had to stop at the closest Walmart to buy a blanket to go to the Walmart. By the time I get to that Walmart, it's gonna be closed. It's confusing, but you know what? Your boy needs a blanket. I'll be right back with some blanket and some food. I'm at Walmart now. I know, it was a big jump. I'm really really tired right now. I got everything moved to the front. I got my little trusty fan right here that's not on yet. I currently have the AC blasting, but we, as you can see, we got everything in the front seat. And then I got my little area to sleep back here, but we got a big day tomorrow. Magnificent, a city I've never been in before. So, all right boys, I'll see you tomorrow. Well, that was a hell of a way to wake up. It's about three o'clock. I wake up to knocking on the back window. I'm like, what the hell? Two Cops knock on my back window and they go, what's up? <laughs> I'm like, Nothing much, man. They're sleeping. <laughs> he said, I told them why I was here, what I was doing. I'm like, I read online, you can stay in schools, casinos, Walmart parking lots. And like, yeah, I'm just making sure. I just want to let you know, you can get carjacked over here. I'm like, damn. <laughs> All right, and he's like, yeah, I'll just look out for you, man. Cause my car was running and then they left. <laughs> That was kind of scary, I'm not gonna lie. Good morning, beautiful people. I am alive and awake, and my car did not get carjacked, nor did I run into any more police. We are ready to go. I slept a little later than I thought I was going to. It's like nine o'clock. The fan worked phenomenally. My car, I shut off when the, when the cops came, and I just let the fan run, and the fan kept me cool all night. <sighs> Woo. This is like a kind of like a halfway point from where I was originally intending to go, but I am gonna magnet fish around here today. I'm gonna go into Walmart right now. I'm going to make me some food. As in food, I mean peanut butter jelly sandwich because I really don't know what else to make. And then we're gonna go look for some magnet fishing spots. And we're gonna try magnet fishing here. It's time to make me some breakfast. Oh, there we go. It's actually just a peanut butter sandwich. Uh, it turns out that uh, when you leave jelly in a hot car for a good extended period of time, it ferments. <laughs> I had some alcoholic jelly that I had to throw away because it turned into pretty much wine. <laughs> so we just got a peanut butter sandwich. Before you judge me for wearing the same shirt, hear me out. It's about to get filthy. So now that we both understand why I'm wearing the same shirt, we are on our way to the first spot of the day. We want to find some stuff today. We want to find something good. After looking for spot after spot, I'm not gonna lie, I've been struggling to find a spot that is not 80 feet off the ground. It looks like there is some magnet fishing scrap on the bridge, unfortunately, but there's not much you can do about it. So we're just gonna get to it. I'm excited. 
Oh, plenty of rope. Oh, sh there's a bee. Is there a bee's nest down there that I didn't see? Almost got stung by a freaking wasp. I'm going to a new spot, man. I've been magnificent here for like 30 minutes and I literally have not even found a nail. So on to the next spot. Like that is literally all I've found. I've never gotten so many stares while doing something ever. They'll just be like, I don't care. It's just funny to see how many people are staring. Man, this spot is super shallow. I'm about 80% sure that's a pregnancy test right there. <laughs> I'm literally dragging my magnet in like inches of water. I see this thing. Come on. It's gonna be my first find of the day if I can get it up. Sight magnificent at its finest right here. Oh, at least I didn't get skunked. Yes. Maybe a uh, piece of a grill. I will take it. This means I did not get skunked. Oh, I think I see something. Oh, yeah. I think I see a bike frame right here. Gosh, yeah, it was stuck under the rocks. There we go. Get up. <laughs> Got it. Oh, oh my gosh. Bam. Oh, I need to really not be wearing flip-flops while I do this. Sight magnet fishing at its finest, a bike frame. Oh, oh, that hurts so bad. Look at this freaking car lot. It's all bugs. It's all little beetle bugs or whatever the hell they're called. People over in the, the Midwest, you guys like your little beetle bugs. I just made it to the next spot. There's literally a horse. Look at this. I can't say I've ever seen that happen before while I've been back to business. <laughs> we got a tire down there. Okay, okay. Well, at least I see something in the water. That's, that's a good sign, but <laughs> that was just random. Oh, that person literally just threw a glass bottle out of the window. I will never understand some people. Oh, there we go, we got something. Scrap metal. Okay, all right, maybe we can get something going here. Honestly, I'll take anything I can get at this moment. Yes, okay, now we're kind of finding some stuff. All right, now this is a super, super shallow creek. Oh, that's a piece of barbed wire right there. Okay, that's pretty cool. Got a piece of barbed wire. That's two throws, two things, you know? You always like to see that. There's just piles and piles of rebar on the, oh, I threw right on top of something, right on top of something. All right, it is a piece of rebar. I was literally just talking about rebar and I got a piece of rebar. I'll have to show you this massive pile of rebar under the bridge. Look at that. Okay, there we go. All right, I'm just glad to be finding something. I've drove over five hours today just trying to find spots. We got it. Look at all that rebar right there. There's so much of it. I got something right here. Oh dang, we got just a little piece of scrap like flimsy i don't know what it is but just just scrap metal and this is just a real part of magnet fishing is how much time you got to put in to find the crazy spots that produce the crazy stuff it's like a horse and buggy prayed like i know you can't really see it look at that why do they all wear pit vipers what the hell like this is throwing me off man did like pit vipers sponsor the amish why are they all wearing pit vipers i forgot to press record but we're coming up ah uh, we got something straight down it oh geez there's glass on it like that's how long it's been down there looks like just a bent piece of rebar once again i really need to put shoes on there's a piece of glass attached to it oh 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 no freaking way that's what that was. I gotta go slow. This thing is massive though. Oh wait, that that's not rebar. At least I don't think that's rebar. It's like got a little wire to it right there. Actually, I don't think this is rebar. I'm still not convinced that that is what my magnet was getting stuck on. If you guys would like to pick up a magnet for yourself, guys, do me a favor and check out the link down in the description. It'll take you over to Battle Magnets. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, I got a cord. It's coming. It's coming. Oh, no. It's definitely not a safe because it has a cord. Pulled it out of the mud. Oh, oh we're going to give the other side a go. I'm almost 100% sure that's a computer. Oh, my gosh. Look at this knife. Oh, shoot. Oh, my gosh. No, that's a freaking knife. Damn. It's got some reach on that one. Man. 
massive knife. It's like for a grill. Jeez, man. I was not expecting that. I did not think I had anything on my magnet. We're slowly going to make some progress north now. I think probably done magnet fishing for today. But now we're going to have to try to find another Walmart. I think the move right now is to find a Starbucks and just get some work done.